However, that caused we, a lot of uh, s that caused some silence, and some people are like quietly like uh, muttering to themselves and like doubting you a little bit. But uh, yeah, they're they're starting to think about it. Listen, <laughs> currently we have an opportunity. You have an opportunity. We have an opportunity. If we uh, if we can uh, work together on this one endeavor. We will light, uh, we will relight the fires of hope and liberty using the Von Braun spaceport as our beacon, lighting the lighting the way to a lighting the way to a new tomorrow, a free tomorrow. And you are here at this juncture, just before the, the heart march towards towards glory. Does anybody want are to add something to, to that? Oh, you weren't done. And then I'm going. Then of course the call to action. So we are leaving. We are leaving for the space center. Are you going to help us? Be right back. Because <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> are you going to help? Us? Be right back. <laughs> I have to talk to my superiors. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are following it for for it, mind fuel. <laughs> Very. Ah, yes. Somebody here has an impeccable timing. We were joking about how that uh, Edna, uh, Edna had to leave to, to report to her superiors. <laughs> yes, <indeed. laughs> ah, yes, Yeah, that it's would have been horrible. horrible. And that's, yes. why we're, we're, that's why I was making the joke that you were, you were, you were saying that everything was, that they were buying it, mind fewer. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> but yes, browsing speech okay. time. Does any... Anybody else want to add something to what uh, Enda said? Enda, thank you. I just probably stand somebody up who's right. not talking all the time. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Well, Velocity isn't really a, a great speaker. That's what about you, well, Grace? You're wearing the old colors. Yeah, that should say enough. <laughs> you should say something. <laughs> just say something. Yeah. Something. Uh, huh. Okay. You know uh, what? You know what? Do do this. Read the Gettysburg Address. Read the what? The Gettysburg Address. Uh, it's a famous speech by Abraham Lincoln. Well, I don't know that speech. <laughs> just, just say look something. Look it up. Google just, it. Just say, say something two, patriotic. Yes. Just two lines. I'm gonna get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I have a minus to work on the check. <laughs> Come on, Dries, just set up the cliche. Pretend you're Captain America. Hey, what is the motto of the American States? Let's go beat the Red Skull, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no! Yeah, let's just say something like, let, 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 let's go beat up some Nazis or something. <laughs> uh, well, uh, <laughs> Let's go, All right, people. We can do this. Let's go to the Nazis and and teach them the true meaning of red, white, and blue. Okay, yes. that causes a yeah. Oh, let's go show them what we're made of. I was almost wanted to do a William Wallace speech, but anyway, <laughs> and you should read them. Crap, you pulled. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, that would have been appropriate, but because the whole team is freedom and stuff, and these people mm -hmm. are oppressed. Yeah. Would yes. you rather live your days as, uh, like being oppressed, or live now every mo moment in, in freedom? <laughs> know that yeah. you made your own choice and died a free man. <laughs> Wait, dying? <laughs> it's for the Middle Ages, <laughs> you know. But anyway, they now seem uh, very motivated and uh, they're willing to help you. So uh, Lilith that looks to you and sa sa says, thank you. The only thing you need to do now is, well, get into a bunch of crates and wait for a while. So I hope that's not going to be a big problem. <laughs> so who is putting well, who I'm not going to Superman man. punch my way through the thing. Did you say? Do you say that out loud? What? I frown at the. No, I don't say that out loud. Okay. That I'm is. Not that. If you have a better idea, Richard, you could always uh, bring it up. This is their plan. You guys haven't haven't suggested anything. Uh, actually, for 
two reasons. Uh, we should go with the plan. A, it's good for morale. B, they know the lay of the land. We don't. I know. Okay. I was kidding. Awesome. I just look at Lilith and go, one more thing. Do we know where Dr. Tomorrow is being held? She, like, pauses, pauses for, for a moment. No, but I trust that once I get inside, I'll relay with my contact person. I'll find out. Mm-hmm. Excellent. That will be the first thing I'm we need to do. Because I'm coming with you. I would not sway oh, you even if I... I would not even consider swaying you. Ooh, what kind of equipment do you guys have? If they're all, if these machines are all automated, maybe I can construct some kind of EMP device. <laughs> I say reluctantly. <laughs> Yeah, That's Andres, you don't a... have the inventor advantage. If if Volant was here, you could totally do that. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that damn kid? Yeah. Jeez, no, she said man. when you bring up EMP and she says like, oh, we don't have the kind of equipment needed to build that sort of uh, high tech weapon. Sorry. Crap. We have some. Our tools are like very base. Our our tools and weapons are very basic. We're we're an underground resistance movement. What do you expect? Ooh, I'm very good with biology. Maybe I can super soldier you guys. <laughs> no. I don't think we have time for you to develop a super soldier uh, uh, <laughs> formula. But I think Dr. Tomorrow will be very interested to hear more about that as soon as we break him out. Indeed. He's the science right. guy. Mm -hmm. Right. Created. Oh my, the science guy. And I think right. Verity is already starting to fantasize about doing science together with the heroic Doctor Tomorrow. <laughs> no, I must get my... Wait, do I got a photo? Yes, I got a video camera. Must record it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> For the fan book. For my scrapbook. <laughs> ah, scrapbook, yes. Okay. In any case, uh, they, like, start the plan and they, uh, they like, get you guys into some crates. Mm-hmm. Very well. And, uh, yeah, un unfortunately, though, uh, the people who are, have to handle you don't apparently know the meaning of the word, f word fragile because you're like, you're like being thro thrown all over the place and they're constantly shaking you about. It's really not mm -hmm. a comfortable ride. I tried to hover in my box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I can do it. I'm flying in my box. Uh, yeah. You don't have so a lot fast. of space to do that, though. Just saying. Uh, I know, but uh, at least I'm not sitting on the damn thing. I try to rest and sleep a bit. <laughs> That's well, not gonna be possible. To adapt to the movements of the box because she's so fast. <laughs> you can totally uh, do that. that but yeah. <laughs> Still doing my best to get a bit of rest. I saw that movie okay. coming. <laughs> you luckily don't have like a, a looking hole in your crate, so you catch a couple of glimpses of what's going on outside. There's like this moment when you catch a glimpse of the actual city inside, and mm -hmm. uh, you do notice that that it is it is very much a city. It's not all ruins like where you guys started out before. But you notice that a lot of people you notice on the streets look very, very downtrodden. They look like... They, they just look like shit. They look like they've been through a very rough time. And they all look... They look very, very depressed. And you Must notice like... Fight. Soldiers Must all fight everywhere. Urge. Must mm. fight the urge to... To fly out of the box and... <laughs> Inspired. Start to do patriotic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be very count. Uh, that would not be very good for your plan. Nope. Okay, but um, one of you uh, notices a, a familiar face as uh, as you're uh, passing uh, through the street. Uh, wait, I'm looking up the name. Do I? I uh, don't know it from. Ah, here we go. Uh, Richard. Yeah. Do you remember Timothy from Timothy's Bistro? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Long silence. You certain? Oh no! I I, I I you're like breaking up, sort of. Ah okay. 
But yeah, uh, you you swore you recognized Timothy walking over the street, but he looked completely different. Normally, Tim the Timothy you know is this re really jolly, uh, somewhat overweight guy in his in his fifties. Um, but this guy looks like really, really, really skinny, and he looks like he hasn't been getting a lot of sleep lately. And he looks he looks like he's he's like into retirement or something. It looks like a lot older than you know him. It's like he's not real he's not looking too good. Also he's wearing a suit. That's not the Timothy you know. Oh god. You are evil, Ramses. You are pure evil. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me, I try blame bl the adventure. <laughs> I try pushing I try pushing out of my box. Uh-oh. Yeah, you guys start hearing a lot of noise and it's and it's not the truck this time. I go I <coughs> use command to go uh what is that sound to my teammates? You hear know. you hear um the incarcerator kind not yet uh, you hear the incarcerator trying to yell out Timothy Timmy uh oh. Incarcerator, restrain yourself. Remember, in a, in about 15 hours, the bomb is going to go off. Yeah, but the, oh, but the only way to save him is to send to n not make a sound and get to the bomb. Persuasion. You have. You're gonna have to use persuasion. Yes. Because yeah, if see how we, well you do. If. <coughs> Uh, if you're using, if we fall for this distraction, the whole world will fall with you. Where is my token? Just use the one what on would the I map. Use? Give me a second. Ah, there it is. Freedom Mites. What would I use to uh, go against it? Personally, I think you should decide for yourself. My persuasion is 10. If you want to leave it up to fate, you can try rolling a will save. I oh well. I still only have the one hero point, so I'm not going to. Nineteen. It will have to be enough. Nineteen. Mhm. Mm you want to try the will save it, or you want to decide for yourself? Personally, it's it's up to you, man. Mm -hmm. I'd pers I'd th I'd I'd say decide for yourself. As as I. As I'm listening, I, I realize that it's kind of my own words echoing back to me. Mm -hmm. You know, don't fall for the distractions. The mission's more important than helping yeah, you specific said. individuals. Yes. Indeed. I'm the one who said that first. And as <laughs> I'm hearing it, I realize I, I love Timmy to death. He's an awesome guy, but maybe, just maybe, if we help this world out just enough, Timmy might n be able to be go back to being that guy. Indeed. And I center myself on that thought, the thought that if we save Doctor tomorrow and stop this bomb from blowing off, things might revert back to normal. I thought these guys yeah, the Atom family is And super that's awesome what I that's what I center my thought on. Mm -hmm. And so I stopped trying to break out of my box. Okay, that's uh, good. Yeah. Good. And I'm actually going to give you a hero point for that. Thank you. That was uh, some good character development. Thank what you. did you say, um, Dries? Don't they have, like, uh, uh, family, uh, the Atom family super stuff somewhere? <laughs> All Nazi equipment now. What Atom family? Yeah. Hmm. You mean those Doctor. guys? Yeah. There, those are, that are now Nazi super soldiers. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm not saying that's what they. That's what happened to them. But yeah, they they might as well be. <laughs> Lilith did say that they that they indoctrinate most of the super people. <laughs> yes. Except Doctor T Tomorrow. Of course. Well, he actually Let's... started out as indoctrinated. He just, he just no. one day realized 
They were evil bastards. <laughs> Very well. Show they me. actually started out as like a a a, a um, Nazi wunderkind, let's say. Check. Right. Shall we carry on? Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's. Oh, by the way, um, I, got, I gave you some more uh, hero points. You did. You got um, yeah, you got um, two for the entire battle and the whole scene with uh the uh, rebellion. And I gave okay. the incarcerated one extra, so for the whole role playing thing. So Enda mm -hmm. is at three, incarcerated is also at three, Verity is at three, Velocity is at two. All right. Okay. That gives us a little bit of breathing room. Yes, yes. a little bit. So okay, after right. after more um, moving Just around, speed. you yeah you're now you're now on a truck. That whole scene you saw was actually more as you were being unloaded onto another truck. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the uh, truck moves towards somewhere. Then there's this brief uh, signs. You think you're, you're like briefly on a um on like a cargo ship or something of course you're like boxes back onto the cargo ship more more bang slam being thrown all over the place mhm mm then finally the their uh the silence <laughs> is broken up again and there's more and you're being thrown about again and then and then you you think you're being moved by some sort of uh smaller vehicle and you hear a lot of noise. It's like a busy environment. You think, oh, we're finally at the space center, probably. Well, no, it's if it's offshore, I think. Then we still have to go to the water. I told you you're being unloaded onto a ship. Okay. That's um, what I said, right? We, we have a spy hole, so let's use that. Yes. It can basically confirms what I'm saying. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're passing through some. You're passing through some scanners and stuff like that, and then there's like um, these uh, bunch of um, forklifts that like take you down a long corridor into mm -hmm. like this. These huge double doors open up, and you arrive in this very, very large um, round room, and uh, you're being put down, and then they like drive off again, and it's like silent for a while. Uh, during the trip through the spaceport, I keep my eyes peeled to get a feel for how thing, how the Nazis run their uh, base of operations. The security is very tight. You saw a lot of mm -hmm. soldiers. I take in the language that is spoken, just you know. Yeah, it's, it's very damn useful. The uh, language that is that is mostly used is German. Ach so, dan spreche ich now German. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. For, forgive me, my German is rusty. I need to upgrade it. Mm -hmm. You're now in some sort of, like I said, you're now in some sort of gray circular structure uh, about the size of a large warehouse. Let's give our contact 15 minutes to appear, and I say that telepathically. Oh! And before I forget, um, yeah, I completely forgot about this. Sorry, guys. Before you guys were put into the crates, uh, Lilith gave everybody earpieces. She said, like, this way we can uh, we can um, discreetly stay in touch. And we'll also use the earpiece then. And, uh, yeah, you um, suddenly hear, hear Lilith's voice. Uh, guys, there's... I'm not certain where we are, but I do know one thing. This wasn't the agreed rendezvous point. Something's wrong. Fuck. Okay. Time to move. I put my ear to the edge of the box, and I use perception to try and hear what's going on around us. If I can hear anything out of the ordinary, anything. Uh, yeah, sure, give me perception. Ah, fuck. Good idea, bad roll. <laughs> uh, you hear some murmuring off into the distance. There's definitely people here, but you can't tell how many of who or who they are. Right. I uh, speak into the earpiece. Oh, there's people here. I don't know how many, I don't know who they are, but 
there are quite a few people here. Distance? Can't tell. I can't tell. Maybe you'll have better luck. All right, I'll go li have a listen. Okay, if... give me one too then. Ah, there we go. Go. 21. Okay, you hear a male, uh, you hear a uh, male voice going, in, in German of course. Mm -hmm. They're sure taking their sweet time. Why, I can't, why can't we just kill them right now? And then another more calm voice uh, says, "No, no, we have our we have our orders. Let's 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 humor him for now and just wait until they leave." Excellent. I I give the feedback. You are right, incarcerator and Lilith. This is a trap. I just overheard two soldiers Actually, saying it's more that like they. Three. I've heard three soldiers who are waiting for uh, us to, uh, us to, you know, they think that we're taking our sweet time getting out. Um, did one of your contacts, how do they sound, by the way? Um, one of them sounded like they really wanted to start killing you. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Another one sounded kind of very sure of himself, and the other one sounded like he was very calm, and he sounded like he was some sort of kind of a professional. Ah, yes. Now okay. I did Lilith say that, or did you say that? Say what? That was Ramsey's describing the voices. Ah, yes, okay. Yeah, um, that's what you asked, right? I no, he was asking Lilith, Lilith what her contacts sounded like. Oh, 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 sorry. Uh, Not a problem. She she says, well, he's a scientist. That's that's why we got him working in here. He's he's like he's like a, an an astronomer. So you only have one contact that's supposed to meet us. Yes, and this wasn't the agreed upon place. This is a trap, definitely. We are facing three soldiers. One angry, one calm, one confident. Uh, what direction and how far? Um, to the blah, 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 northwest, let's say. To the northwest, in the next room over. No, no, so we, you're in this huge room. I said, I said, it's like where, where, how sized room? It's ju they're just oh, like right. a little further away. To it's a big room, so yeah. Well, so, mm, what say we rush them? I'd say that's a good plan, Edna. You ready? On the count of three, so I'll count one, two, three, and then go. Okay? So that's the count of two, got it. Yes. Go on three. <laughs> got it. Alright. I stretch a little. Wait, hold on. Everybody in on this plan? Yeah. Hmm. Yes, let's rush them. Indeed. Velo uh, Verity? Mm, I'm doubtful. But okay, let's go. For it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead now. Cool. One, two, three! Bust out Bang. of it. Bust. Okay. You bust out. <laughs> And you immediately notice that uh, you're in this huge room, and the <coughs> first thing you notice is that thing in the middle. There's some sort of huge device there, and um, centered on, t on top of it, there's this huge red-black sphere connected to all sorts of uh, cable and cables to various uh, scientific instruments. Uh, along the walls, and the sphere pulses with a weird crimson energy and makes the air itself ca uh, crackle. You think that's the thing you're looking for? Yeah. <coughs> Where are our foes? The hold on. The Norn did say you would recognize it when you see when you saw it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. We found the secondary objective first. <coughs> uh, in any case, there are these. Um, 
five people standing there they look all like they're dressed in military military garb but there's clearly something wrong cuz one of them is like flo is like floating in the uh, floating in the air and the uh, and one has like glowing uh, uh, glowing arms these clearly are not normal people but as soon as you like erupt from uh, the crates there is this electronic digitalized sounding vo go voice going Ah, guten Tag, Herr Amerikanen. I am Technos, and we have been expecting you. Technos. And you don't, first didn't notice where it come, where it came from, but then you notice like a uh, little higher up. Like I said, it's a very, it's a uh, you're in this um, warehouse sized uh, structure, and there's this um, sort of retractable dome. You notice. And mm -hmm. like just under the retractable dome part, there you see like this window, and there there seems to be like some sort of uh, robotic form there. Uh, but instead of a head, he has like this 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 uh, bl big circular object, like this like this sphere uh, there, and in the middle there's this floating brain. <laughs> okay. Hmm. And it is, and he says, we, as a, we have anticipated the terrorist in the resistance would strike against the cosmic energy generator. So we had you delivered here to give you one look at it before the uber soldaten kill you. That is not a cosmic energy battery or whatever. That's a universal bomb, you idiots. It's gonna blow. But of course. <laughs> he, he just calmly states that, and then he says, "Kill them." And uh, yeah, battle, battle is joined. joined. Oh wait, they, I put five of them. They're, they're like outnumber you now. I should remove one of them. Oh, crap. Yeah, remove one, and we'll just scratch that and say there's four. Yes, edit. Edit. Scene. Um. Yeah, but now I have to like. I didn't. Uh, I hoped that. Nico would be here in time. Now I have to think which one should I remove. You know what? I'm going to remove the one that I thought was the most problematic that you would have the least chance of beating. So I'm going to remove... <laughs> well, first, it's also the only lady in the team. So that feels a little discriminatory, but still. Oh, well. Eh. You, what you're basically saying is that your ladies rock. Which is an awesome thing. Uh, no, this is from the adventure. I didn't create her. Yes. Still. Oh well. Um, also, before I forget, soldiers also start pouring into the room. Hooray! Take down! Yeah. yeah. Minions. A area down. first. Hold up, I have to like set them up first. Um. <laughs> um are we on the same map or a different map? Uh, we'll be on a different map. But Ramses is uh, setting it up right now. We'll yes, be exactly. Give me a moment. He will tell us when we are up. Exactly. Wow, they're Dude. all in an organized Dude. line waiting to be shot. <laughs> but they're going to get slashed with a sword. Yes. By the way, uh, I think the only one who took damage was uh, Velocity, but you have plenty of time to rest up, even though you were being smacked around in crates. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, you're you're all healed up. Uh, oh yeah, I've got that. I have a healing power. I think we all do. Wow, you guys! I'm not gonna I'm not gonna joke around. Your chances of success are severely are severely hindered by by Volant not being near. <laughs> yeah. Next time uh -huh. we're going to have a secondary tech, uh, techno uh, mage. I am excellent. You have technology. Yeah, Verity has a couple of ranks in technology, I think, but not very high. 